at the Orlando Premium Outlets and I was able to find a very shady spot, which is great. And here's my kids. <laughs> so we're gonna go in and I don't plan on spending all day here because I do wanna go to Disney Springs afterwards. I just wanna hit up Prada and kind of the bigger designer stores and then maybe get some bubble tea on the way out. But I will take you along with me. Yeah. All right, my first stop is Burberry, and there are two lines. One is like just walk in, and then there are appointment lines, I guess, kind of like LV. So there's one lady ahead of me. And I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna see if they have a bum bag, I think. Or, you know, we'll see. This is so cute. All these kids' clothes. Side. This is the size small, and I'm not wearing the right bra. I just have the Viore like sports crop top bra underneath. But it looks cute. Just a basic tee. It's on sale for one twenty, I think, and then it's another ten or twenty percent off. So I, mean, I think I might get it. I like this little detail on the arm, and has a nice length. It's the long line and cushion. About There's about two people in front of me, but up ahead is Gucci, and that is a way longer line. So we'll see if I make that trip today. Prada for now. Hours will be hours. Tomorrow's 11 to 8. They might actually be smarter to come back later when it's not so hot. Gucci's line at least is covered, but here we're just under the sun and it's blazing hot today. Okay, my visit to Prada was a success. I'm gonna skip on Gucci because that line is way too long. But I'm gonna check out Ooh, All Saints. I've never been there. I like how they have these sewing machines. Can you see it? They have these sewing machines in the window. These are like old school sewing machines. <laughs> Singer. And then I'm gonna check out Bottega in Veneta. And they have Jimmy Choo. Versace a couple times, so probably not. But there's the inside. And then I'm probably gonna go to, for sure, the cosmetics company store. Here's Vera Bradley, and look at their windows. They're having a moment with these lemon bags. It looks like the Dolce Gabbana collection that's out right now with the lemons. Actually, pretty cute. So, more stuff in there. You got tofu, you got other stuff. So, if you like lemons, check out the Vera Bradley lemons. Alright, we're back in the food court and we're doing a little snack break because we're tired. <laughs> and this is what I got so far I got stuff from the Longchamp, Parada, and uh, Burberry. Was the first stop and then the, cosmetic com the cosmetics company store so. so i think we're gonna try to hit up maybe a few more stores but my kids are over this 
They are over it. They just, they just want to go. <laughs> we can get lots of tired families, lots of shopping bags. They also have the luggage that you can buy luggage and, you know, if you shop a lot, you can buy a luggage suitcase to roll it back home. They had Jimmy Choo and I don't really need anything from there. I think if I had more time, I would have stopped at Diesel to try out some jeans, like jean shorts. But I'm good. So I got some interesting stuff here. And I'll share it when I get home. Okay, hey guys, I am back home. Our trip to Orlando was amazing. Check out my Orlando vlog video. And then I also did a separate how I pack my travel bags video. I went to the Orlando premium outlets on Vineland Avenue. And then I think there's another outlet in Orlando, like the international outlets, but the one in Vineland, the premium outlets have the designer stores, which is why I went. I tried to include as much footage from the stores as I could, but surprisingly it wasn't as crowded as I thought it would be. I went Memorial Day weekend, but I went after Memorial Day. And so it wasn't as crowded. And so there were like a lot of eyes on me <laughs> in the stores. I didn't film as much as um, maybe I wanted to, but I'll show you what I picked up. Now, the very first store I went to was Burberry. This one had kind of an annoyingly long wait to get in. The line wasn't long, the line itself, but they were doing like a one-to-one -one ratio with their sales associates. So I was kind of waiting. And then after I checked out, it turned out they didn't take off the discount that <laughs> they were supposed to, it was like an additional 20% off women's ready to wear and handbags. And they didn't apply it to one of the things that I bought. So I had to go back, which was a little annoying. There were two lines set up. One was for appointments and one was just walk in. And I felt like we both were all waiting for a long time before I went in. I was initially looking for a hoodie for my husband and they didn't have any, but I did find one for myself. <laughs> so this was the very first thing I got. I just love hoodies, you guys. So I got this uh, navy blue women's hoodie. It's got this really pretty gold zipper with this really oversized zipper pull. And inside it just is so soft and cozy and warm. And then the hoodie part has their kind of signature Nova check. As soon as I tried it on, it just, I had to get it. It was so comfortable. And this was an additional 20% off. So everything for women at least was 20% off. I also tried on their bum bags. They had in the men's section some bum bags and I'm obsessed with bum bags, but I just didn't really like the style. I didn't like the designs of the ones they had in store. I'll try to include pictures and footage from the store, but I tried a few different styles and I didn't like them as much, so. I'm not sure what the original retail price was for this, but it was on sale at the outlet for 250 and then it was an additional 20% off. So I got this for 200. I consider it outerwear. If I were still living up north, I would have looked for a Burberry trench, but it is so hot down here. I'm, I live in Georgia now and we probably will be relocating even further south after my husband retires. So I really don't need a trench coat or a heavy coat anymore. And I've actually been getting rid of a lot of the heavy, heavy winter coats in my wardrobe. So I just thought a hoodie would be a great choice. So I got this hoodie from Burberry and then I got this really cute top. It's just a basic black top but it has this little detail on the sleeve. And this is really nice because if you don't want to show that, you know, little uh, check pattern, you can just fold the sleeves down and then it's not noticeable. So if you're not wearing anything that would go with this design, you can just turn it into a solid black tee. It's very comfortable, very stretchy. So this originally retails for 170, it was marked down to 120, and then it was an additional 20% off. So I got this for about 100. And then because I was a little disappointed that I didn't like any of the Burberry bum bags, I ventured over to the women's crossbody sections and I actually ended up getting my very first Burberry bag. I do not own a Burberry bag in my entire luxury handbag collection. I did an entire video about my collection, so check that out. But yeah, people were mentioning to me, you don't have any Burberry bags. And it's not that I was purposely excluding Burberry. I just Never really saw one that kind of caught my eye, but this one did because it's just so little and cute. So it's just a little flat pouch. It has these D rings on the side so that you can use it as a wristlet or as a crossbody. So here's a crossbody strap, brand new. And they just clip on to the little D rings and you just wear it as a very easy to use pouch. Now I, prefer as much as possible. If the zipper is on top, I actually used to own the LV Favorite MM, which was such a sought after bag 
because I figured, okay, it's a great size. It just holds my essentials, but I hated how much it had the flap that goes over it. And so I was like, I can't, I can't do that. I need to have a zip opening because if I need to overstuff it temporarily, I need to be able to just have it open. I figured this was a great choice. So this is the little pouch. It just is very plain inside, but then it has the little credit card slots right there. So if I'm just running around, I can have this on my person. If I have a big tote bag, I can throw this in as a little organizer pouch, but then clip these straps on the sides to where it is a crossbody. And so that's it. So it's Burberry right there. So the original price of this was 630. It was marked down to 450. And then with the 20% off sale that was going on at the time, I got this for 360. So a little pouch, you know, why not? That you can wear as a crossbody bag. So this is my first Burberry bag in my collection. And then next from the Longchamp store, I love going in their store because their Le Pliage tote bags are all displayed on the walls in every color. It's like a little candy store, but for bags. I did not get another Le Pliage tote, but I did get this little cute coin purse <laughs> that matches my black Le Pliage totes. This is their newer version. The older one doesn't have this uh, little flap here at the top, and then it just has a plain zipper, but this one has their signature little horsey zipper pull and then the little flap. I always have random change floating around my bags, or I figured I could also just leave this in my car with change. Sometimes you never know when you need cash. I never carry cash around with me anymore, especially coins, but I kind of want to keep just emergency cash in here and coins if I ever need it. So I got this little coin purse and this coin purse was $50. I don't know what the retail price was, but that's how much I paid. So a little pricey for just a coin purse, right? <laughs> but this is again, the newer version. And I think the older version was like something like $40. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I got that little coin purse. And then I got this really super cute little Le Pliage pouch in the navy. Now I have the Longchamp Le Pliage expandable tote in this navy color. And I don't know. I just feel like this would be so cute to keep inside just to organize other things. And then if I ever just want to take my phone or whatever out in this, I mean, is this so cute? What would I keep in here? I can keep my camera in here. I don't know. I just really like it. There's the back. So it looks exactly like a miniature shrunken down version of the Le Pliage tote, but with one little top handle, like Longchamp's version of the Kelly, <laughs> of an Hermes Kelly style, but softer. And it's got the same little zipper pull. And this was $65. And then it comes with a little card. Now, if you live near the Longchamp outlet, they also do take in, I did an entire video talking about the Longchamp repair policy and how they will repair the corners of your Le Pliage tote bag. So if your bag needs to be repaired, the outlet store will do the intake and send it out for repair. And they'll even ship to you if you don't live near their store. So my two little pouches from Longchamp. And then a quick detour to the cosmetics company store. I love checking out all the beauty outlets because they have some great deals on fragrances and makeup and especially designer brands. So I got these two Tom Ford beauty products. Everything was on sale for 50% off, even the fragrances. And I was so close to buying the new Tube Rose new fragrance for 50% off, but I have a lot of fragrances and I just, passed on it, but I did get this makeup. So I got the Glow Tinted Moisturizer with an SPF of 15. And I got this in a pretty dark shade. It's the tawny shade because I get very tan, like I'm pretty tan and I get darker in the summer. So I just needed some darker tinted moisturizers with SPF. And then even as I get a little lighter, I can still mix this in with my other foundation as my color starts to lighten up. And then I got this Skin Illuminator Face and Body. It's just another glowy kind of a primer. You can use this as a primer. And I got this in the shade two, which is a rose gold, but look how nice and glowy this looks. I tried it on in store, just on my shoulders. I was wearing a, a bodysuit. Oh, it smells so good too. Yeah. <laughs> so this is something that I would never pay full price for. So I always wait until they're on sale, which they do go on sale like at Nordstrom's, but I got this for 50% off. So these were both each originally $70 and with 50% off, it was 35 each. So I paid 70 for the two of these. And in the vlog footage earlier in this video, I showed the lines to Gucci and I was not waiting in that line. Like <laughs> there was no way it was so hot. That was the biggest difference I think between the Orlando outlets versus the Woodbury Common premium outlets. So the Woodbury Common premium outlets in upstate New York has Fendi, a Fendi outlet. They have a Dior outlet, which the Orlando outlets do not. 
So I think the highest end stores in Orlando were Burberry, Gucci, which I did not go to. They had Jimmy Choo, which I also did not go to. And then they had Prada. And I got a few things from Prada. Well, two things. So they had some sneakers. I tried some of them on. They were the Balenciaga type sock sneakers and they just were not cute. Like they were not cute on me. <laughs> they were not cute. So I passed, but I did get this pair of shoes for the summer. So I just got these plain black rubber soled flip-flops. These are really soft and cushioned. It says Prada right there. And I just thought they were very comfortable, basic, I don't know, pool slides, pool flip-flops. These were on sale. For some reason, I thought these were 120, which I was like, okay, that's a pretty decent price for Prada shoes, I guess. But I'm looking at the receipt and they were actually 180. So maybe I just looked at it wrong, but I don't know, 180, eh, how much do these retail for? I don't know, but they're so cute. So Prada flip-flops. And then I couldn't pass up this one additional little piece similar to my Burberry pouch that is also a bag i got this i've also been loving my prada nylon bum bag and so i opted to get this little nylon prada pouch this is similar to the lv neo no way no way bucket bag a bucket style bag with a drawstring but what i plan to do with this and i don't have it yet but they have grommets here it's in the silver grommet there's the little prada little logo down there. I am going to add a top handle to the top to make it like a top handle bucket and a crossbody to make it a crossbody bag <laughs> because I love converting pouches into bags, you know? I really like this nylon collection. I've been wearing my Prada nylon bum bag everywhere and it's gotten coffee spilled on it, pancake syrup, and I just wipe it off easily. It just is super easy and durable, easy to clean, very carefree. So I really like this collection and I am excited to turn this into a little bag. So that is the Prada bucket bag. And this I got for $3.75 from the Prada outlet. And then I went to the Columbia store to look for some kind of active wear for me and the family. And Columbia actually gifted me these two tops. This is part of the PFG collection or the performance fishing gear. And it's hard to see, but it's a hooded, lightweight, kind of breathable fabric. I love this because these sleeves have little thumb holes. So this is great for sun protection when you're in the sun. You can even wear this as a rash guard, which I plan to do in the pool or you know at the beach. I just, I'm just trying to keep my arms and my face and head covered. So I like that this has a little hoodie. It's hard to see here, so I'll include pictures, but it's very comfortable and very lightweight. It comes in tons of colors. So I was trying to see if they had this in other colors at the outlet store. And I got mine in the medium size because I want it to be a little oversized so it's easier to take on and off and then for my husband he got the large which fit him pretty well in the navy color his unfortunately does not have little thumb holes in the sleeves but it's got the little hoodie so that is from Columbia Sportswear and then this last bit of the haul is actually not from the outlets but it's from Urban Outfitters and they very kindly gifted me some of their women's loungewear active wear we've got some casual tops some dressy stuff so I just wanted to share with you what I got from Urban Outfitters first off I have this top this is actually a t-shirt dress and I got it in this blue color and it says sublime I love this blue I love this little sun design on the front and it's a little distressed, so it has like some holes, very casual top. And you can wear this as a dress because it's pretty long. I got this in this small medium, but you can also wear it as a top if you want. And I just love this. Next up is this bralette. And initially I thought this would just be for wearing at home or you know, as an actual bra under clothes. But this actually, it's almost like a long line bra, kind of a crop top. So this would be really cute on, if you have like a high-waisted shorts or pants, you could still wear this as a top to go out. It's actually not, too revealing and it's very comfortable and lightweight. So this little ribbed bralette. I got this long sleeve, very casual. Okay, the color, it really doesn't do it any justice here. It's super cute on. It's very comfortable, really, really soft. It has a V-neck. In the summer when everything is super air conditioned inside, sometimes it's nice to just have a long sleeve, almost like a flannel that you can tie around your waist or around your shoulders and then just put on when you just want to be a little warm inside. So I got this top in this brown color and I got this in the small. And I got a pair of these kind of workout shorts with this elastic band. The brand is Out From Under and it's the same brand as the bralette. This Out From Under collection, it's like loungewear, casual wear. 
And this is just what I kind of live in. I was gonna say live in just in the summer, but I wear this kind of stuff all year round. It's just <laughs> very comfortable. Also from the same brand, Out From Under, I got this lounge set. It's very comfortable, stretchy waistband pants, but it's like this really, really soft fleece in this baby blue. And it's very wide leg pants. I might need to actually get this cropped a little bit. They're kind of long on me but the waistband is very stretchy. I actually got this in the extra small. I could have done the small, but I, I kind of wanted to see if I could get away with not having to hem it if I got the extra small and I still have to hem it anyway. So I probably should have gotten a size up. So if you want to be a little more comfortable, I would go with your true to size on this. And this is called the Out From Under Sydney Wide Leg Pants. And to match, I also have the Out From Under Sydney Collared V-neck Top. And it is so comfy and soft. I just will be living in this <laughs> all year round. You know how in the summer, like I said, it's so hot outside and you're sweltering, but then my husband keeps the house at such a frigid temperature. And so I'm just always still in long sleeves and pajama pants inside the house. And then more loungewear. I got this really cute brown ribbed set, same brand, it's called Out From Under. And they look like men's boxer briefs. So these are the bottoms. I got this in medium. I would say these are very fitted. So if you want to size up, I would size up. I went with the medium and I'm glad I did because the small would be just way too tight for me. So I got the boxer brief bottoms and then same thing out from under. This is called the out from under sweet dreams sleep tank top. And this set is just so comfortable. This is so soft, like a really nice ribbed material. It's very similar to skims sleep collection if you're familiar with that really really soft and just so comfortable to sleep in or just lounge in all day and also part of the same collection from out from under this is the the out from under sweet dreams long sleeve top because i don't have any crop tops and i'm buying a lot more high-waisted pants that are more trendy these days and so this also goes with the bottoms from this collection Super soft, very comfy to sleep or even to go out in. And then a little bit of a departure from my normal color scheme. I got this. This is the Out From Under Amina tank top romper. And I plan to use this as a bathing suit cover up in the summer, like at the beach, we're going to the pool, we're going to the beach this summer. And it just is so comfortable, but it's, it's got these really cute pockets on the side. Very comfy, casual. If you wear a bralette under this also, you could still wear this going out too. And I got it in this really cute pink, bubblegum pink color. And then because I need to update my denim wardrobe, I got these new shorts. The brand is called BDG, which I'm pretty sure is the Urban Outfitters house brand of clothes. I don't know if they just do denim, but these are the A-line shorts. And it's like this really nice cream color. And I like that it is a little longer line on the bottom. It's kind of frayed. So it's nice because it's a little distressed, but it's still clean enough that I could like wear this out and not feel like I'm wearing ripped holy jeans. Really cute and very flattering high-waisted shorts. Also from the same brand, BDG, I got these stretch cowboy jeans in black because I don't have black jeans. And even though it is the summer, these would look really cute paired with a crop top because it is high rise. And because it's stretchy, it's very, very comfortable. The length isn't too bad. I actually might get these cropped also because I'm, I'm very short. I'm only five feet tall, but the size fits me pretty well. This is a 28. And then I just got this white blouse. This is called the Addison button front blouse. It just looks so romantic and dreamy but like that coastal grandmother kind of vibe. <laughs> so this will look great, you know, again, at the beach, if I just need a little bit of a cover up, but then it can also be dressed up. I will link everything in the description below, by the way. So but yeah, this is really nice. It almost looks like linen, but it's a really nice soft cotton. It doesn't get as wrinkled as a linen shirt does. And then just to be a little dressy, but kind of casual, I got this white little frocked dress. This is called the Hannah Cecilia tiered mini dress. And I got this in the size medium because it looked really small. And sometimes with these like baby doll dresses, they're a little too tight at the chest, but this is really cute. And it's got this really pretty hem at the bottom and the little lace front. So very nice little airy summer dress. And then the one thing that I wasn't super thrilled about the fit was this. It is very cute. This is a jumpsuit and I love jumpsuits and rompers. It's the same brand as the loungewear out from under. This is called the Hollis Jumpsuit and I got this in the pink and I love the coloring because it's that kind of washed out, you know, where it's darker at the seams. Super cute, very lightweight, very wide leg pants and then they have this kind of a genie hem. So even if it's longer, you can kind of pull it up. I had to size up in this because from the reviews, it said that the top really did not have a lot of coverage, which it did not. So even though I got this in the medium, so overall here is huge on me. It's meant to be oversized. 
but the top is just still not covering much of anything. And so if I wear this out, I would have to pretty much layer it with a tank underneath or use this as, I don't know, as a bathing suit cover up. So it's, it's kind of an odd fit. <laughs> I like that it has this empire gathering here, but if you have a large bust, this will not cover you in the medium size even. You might have to size up even more so and then just alter the legs, but overall still cute. I'm just going to kind of have to play around with how to layer undergarments <laughs> with this so that I can wear it and go outside. So that is the Hollis jumpsuit. So that is everything that I got from the Orlando outlets and a few other shopping excursions that I did online. But let me know if you've been to the outlets and which ones you prefer. I haven't been to the Cabo Zone. I think it's called the Cabo Zone Premium Outlets in California. That's my next trip at some point. But I overall probably prefer the Woodbury Common Premium Outlets in New York versus the Orlando Vineland Outlets mostly because it has more stores and it just was so hot, you guys. <laughs> it probably isn't the ideal time to go shop in Orlando in the heat in June, right after Memorial Day when it's still kind of crowded. But I still got some great pieces. Got my first Burberry bag and my little Prada bucket pouch that I plan on hacking into a crossbody top handle bag. But thank you so much for watching. Check out my Orlando vlog and my packing video if you have not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.